We have now reached 500 days since I've consistently been posting on YouTube. Here are some of the lessons that I've learned along the way that you can also take and potentially implement in your own YouTube channels. Now, first and foremost, this is the first video I'm posting on my channel that looks at how far I've personally grown and how far I've come since starting to create content. In the beginning, it's so easy to get caught up with how many subscribers you get, how many subscribers you want, and especially how much money you can potentially make on YouTube. And those were the first things that I personally fell into temptation with. How much money I could potentially make on YouTube, how many subscribers that I want by end of year. From even my very first videos that I was posting at the beginning of the year last year, so 2023, I was saying in my video descriptions that I wanted to reach 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Now, yes, these act as sources of motivation for you. And it's good to, of course, have some goals in mind that you would like to achieve by a certain time frame. But these things are unfortunately completely out of your hand. These things are out of your control. What you can control is the amount of content you are posting, the quality of content you are posting, and essentially the skills that you are implementing and learning over time that will allow you to eventually grow on YouTube. Every single week I'd look at the analytics and say, well, why am I not growing? Why are my numbers not growing? Why didn't I get a subscriber today? Why aren't I getting as many views as I hoped I would get? Why is this video not performing as well as the last video? Well, look, this video is only a rank 9 out of 10 from the previous 10 videos I posted. It's easy to get caught up with analytics, easy to get caught up with subscriber numbers and view counts, but ultimately what matters at the end of the day is remaining consistent in your posting schedule, remaining consistent with what you want to post and not getting caught up in the latest trends, your favorite YouTubers and what they're posting, as well as the new algorithmic hacks and strategies to get your videos seen by more people. Trust me, no one has a clue about what the algorithm is doing today or tomorrow or next week. However, what does matter, and arguably in my opinion is the most important, because these are things that you can change. These are things that you are in control of. These things will ultimately lead to more views, more traction, more growth, more subscribers on your channel. It's being able to grow and develop your skill set, everything from video production to video publication, everything from video editing to thumbnails, everything from how to operate a camera to even the storytelling aspects of your videos. These are things that you can learn over time from video to video, from post to post, that will ultimately lead to growth on your channel. These are skill sets that are above and beyond any subscriber number. These are skill sets that are above and beyond any view counts. Because it's exactly like the gym in my opinion. Just like you're able to progressive overload in the gym, so progress from day to day, from week to week, when it comes to your training and nutrition program, in order to have your final outcome, which is a shredded, built, and healthy physique, the same thing applies when it comes to video creation and a YouTube channel. All of this experience, all of these lessons, all of these habits, all the skill sets that I mentioned, all the reps, sets, all the days you show up for yourself, all the days you progress, even if it's by 1%, each and every day towards your goals of learning more and doing more, none of that can be learned without just putting yourself headfirst into a problem. That problem being how to edit, how to set up a video, how to make this lighting look the best, how to do color grading, how to render a video the most effectively for YouTube, how to create thumbnails, how to create descriptions on YouTube. Now, yes, look, you may have stumbled across some of your favorite creators and some channels on YouTube who are specialized in helping people grow their YouTube channels, telling you that you must delegate these tasks to other people to build your channel. Now, yes, that may be true when you sustain your YouTube channel and have enough subscribers, viewership, and income coming directly from YouTube in order to be able to start delegating these tasks 
out as a small content creator like myself who has less than 600 YouTube subscribers, this is impossible. You must do these tasks all in the beginning by yourself. You must take on 15 to 20 roles all by yourself and learn how to do these things on your own. There's no one else going to help you. You are the solo creator. Now, you would have briefly heard me say that I have less than 600 YouTube subscribers and you probably think it's yourself, what on earth did I do? Clicking on a video with someone that has less subscribers than me or the same subscribers as me, what can I potentially learn from this guy? He's been posting for 500 days Lo and behold, it's only got 600 subscribers. For all the reasons I've mentioned throughout this video, all of that is out of your control. What you can control are the lessons, the skill sets, and your consistency along the way with posting, with learning, and by being able to progress 1% from video to video. Believe it or not, from day one on my channel, I posted like 50 videos with nothing but this iPhone and this tripod. So, of course, the jump from then to now in terms of visuals and audio quality is light years ahead of where I used to be. I had to learn everything from the ground up from scratch. The entire editing software, video production, photography, graphics, thumbnails, everything that requires you to finally publish your video. Everything I had to learn and that skill set I wouldn't trade any subscriber number for because that is what's going to be able to grow my YouTube channel after investing 500 days on the grind. If I only wanted to focus on that specific target and that specific number of viewers and subscribers by a specific date, like I did when I first started posting, I would have quit YouTube a long time ago. But of course, that's not why I'm here. I realized that my purpose and my goal for posting extends well beyond just a number on the screen. I want to be able to coach, educate, inspire everyone within my niche, which is the health and fitness niche. Everything from workouts to nutrition and how to implement all of these things for free in their day-to-day -day life in order to achieve their lifestyle, health and fitness goals. But beyond that, I wanted to expand. I want to do more on my channel. It isn't just sticking to a specific niche like a lot of creators tell you to do because that is not sustainable for me. I want to be able to create content that I genuinely find enjoyable. For example, I recently went to Thailand and recorded absolutely everything in the style of a vlog, in the style of a review. And that was one of the most enjoyable pieces of content one of the most enjoyable series on my channel that I've had so far. Am I able to post that style of content consistently on my channel? Of course I can't, because my next trip isn't even planned yet. So you can see how I must have an itinerary or a variety of content on my channel that I enjoy posting in order to remain consistent to my posting schedule, which like I said, is arguably the most important thing that is going to allow you to grow on YouTube. Another extremely important lesson that I've learned over the last 500 days is being able to showcase your true personality, being able to genuinely express your own opinions on topics and create your own video style. You don't want any extrinsic motivations or any external influences to impact your personality, opinions, or style. Because that is what influences how people perceive you. Those are the aspects of your channel, your entire channel that creates the personal brand. If you're just like someone else, trust me, people can pick that out very quickly. They will know that you are copying someone else. They will know that you are not genuine. They can see it. They can see right through you. So that is why being able to just learn everything from the ground up, create your own self-identity, being part of the entire creative process, and I mean the entire creative process, and showcasing the growth from zero subscribers to 600 subscribers, and showing how I'm able to adapt and implement myself into new niches, showing how I can adapt and choose the style of my videos, the style of my content, being able to educate, share my genuine experiences and thoughts, 
being able to teach authentically without chasing extrinsic motivation, without chasing statistics or analytics, if I myself, as well as you, are able to focus on these aspects, as well as all the lessons that I've learned over the last 500 days of posting on YouTube, you are almost guaranteed to inevitably grow your audience organically and reach that subscriber number that you may have in the back of your head. Don't let any analytics, don't let any target or goal deter you from staying consistent and posting content. All of that will come in due time. So if you enjoyed today's video, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to debate me down in the comment section below, feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.